As you know, Zippo lighters are amazing, uh, but they are somewhat outdated technology. It is certainly very satisfying to open and close a Zippo lighter, but as you know, the fuel would dry up over time. These inserts not only solve that problem, but also provide a better flame. Inserts for Zippo lighters actually existed for a while now, but by a third party company. Because these are made by Zippo, I do expect them to have better quality. This here is the arc insert. This is uh, battery powered and rechargeable. It does come with a USB charging cable. Let's give it a quick charge and see how it performs. The battery in the insert can charge up to 300 times and each charge will last about 40 uses at 5 seconds each and it takes about an hour to fully charge the battery. There is an indicator on the bottom of the lighter. Solid means is charging. No light means charging has completed. And flashing means that charging is needed. Very detailed instructions. Uh, in order to use the lighter, you have to press the button twice and hold it down. And there is a maximum use of 10 seconds at a time. All right, next is the dual flame butane lighter insert. Man, these things are in the box pretty tight. All right, just like the arc insert, it feels like it's very high quality and well made. There is an adjustment screw at the bottom. And of course, this is the single flame butane insert. Feel just like the other one. I like to use very high quality butane for my torch lighters. And of course this is Vector. I highly recommend this butane. As you can see in the instruction, you just gotta inject it upside down for about 10 to 15 seconds. Once you fill it up, you do need to wait about 5 to 10 minutes so that the butane will warm up to room temperature. I have the Thunderbird Butane insert in here, so I'll be swapping these out. All right, let's see how well they work. Battery looks to be charged. Okay, the dual button press, it is a nice safety feature. I like it. A little bit harder to do tricks on it, but that's fine. And there it cuts off after the 10 seconds max. You're probably aware, but butane lighters and even Zippo lighters can have issues when at high altitudes. These arc inserts uh, are not as affected by altitudes and uh, the other types of lighters, which is a great benefit.
As you can see, the electrical arc is recessed, so you do need something small in order to fit in there to light up and then transfer the flame over to whatever you're trying to light. The benefit though, it is the most uh, wind resistant lighter of all the lighters I have here. It does make a pretty cool uh, high energy electrical noise though. Alright, this of course is the uh, single flame torch insert. Very nice flame, even at the medium settings from the factory. Man, that zippo opening and closing clicking sound is just so satisfying. These torch inserts, I noticed that some of them, if you click too fast, the lighter would not light up. This one does not seem to have any issues. It's not hot yet. It is in the case pretty tightly, which is a nice benefit, I think, so that it doesn't fall out. All right, let's check out a dual flame version. Sounds like a freaking fighter jet with its afterburner on. I'm sure this will burn through butane pretty quickly though. All right, let's see how the Zippo inserts compare with the Thunderbird insert. Of course, the Thunderbird is partially plastic, so it doesn't feel uh, as high quality. I wish the uh, Zippo insert has a window so that you can see the butane level on it. The plastic inserts on the Thunderbird is nice in that you can uh, kind of see the butane level by shining a light through it. I know it's hard to tell in video, but you can see, see it in real life. The flipping mechanism on the Zippo insert does seem to be of higher quality. Probably hard to tell in the video, but it does seem to sound a little bit better too. Keep in mind that the Thunderbird is in the blue casing and the Zippo insert is in the red casing. Functionally, it seems to work equally well. Both are extremely consistent. The button on the Thunderbird, it is uh, a bit bigger, so it's a bit more comfortable, but not a huge difference. The arc insert is also very consistent. So between the Thunderbird and the Zippo inserts, I have to say I will have to go with the Zippo inserts because it's simply better built and better quality. Although uh, I'll miss the ability to look through the housing to see the uh, butane level. I think I can live with that. I wish I knew how to do some tricks for you guys, but all I know is just to freaking flip this thing and light it. It does seem to uh, work fine when you do tricks though. 
much like the original uh, lighter, except for the arc version. The arc version is a little bit trickier because you have to course press the button twice. For normal low altitude use out of these three, I would pick the single torch flame because it doesn't burn as much fuel. And it also provides a flame where I can directly light pretty much anything I want. Overall, I definitely like all three of these inserts. I'll have the link to these lighter inserts in the description below. Don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Take care.